What is this reality? And what is this world that we live in? The television screen is the retina of the mind's eye. Therefore, the television screen is part of the physical structure of the brain. Therefore, whatever appears on the television screen emerges as raw experience for those who watch it. Therefore, television is reality, and reality is less than television. Your reality is already half video hallucination. If you're not careful, it will become total hallucination. Wake up. Mr. President, earlier this year you told us you had ordered your administration to cease and desist on payments to journalists uh, to promote your agenda. You cited the need for uh, ethical concerns and the need for a bright line between the press and the government. Your administration continues to make the use of video news releases, which are prepackaged news stories sent to television stations, fully aware that some or many of these stations will air them without any disclaimer that they are produced by the government. Controller General of the United States this week said that raises ethical questions. Does it raise ethical questions about the use of government money to produce stories about the government that wind up being aired with no disclosure that they were produced by the government? Uh, there, there is a Justice Department opinion that says these, um, these pieces are within the law so long as they're based upon facts, not advocacy. And I expect our agencies to adhere to that ruling, to that Justice Department opinion. This has been a long-standing practice of the federal government to use uh, these uh, types of videos. The Agricultural Department, as I understand, has been using these videos for a long period of time. The Defense Department, other departments have been doing so. It's important that, the, that they be based upon the guidelines set out by the Justice Department. Now, I also I think it'd be helpful if local stations then disclose to their viewers if that's you know that this was based upon a factual report and they chose to use it but evidently in some cases that's not the case so anyway guarantee that's happening by including that language in the prepackaged report yeah i don't you know oh you mean a disclosure I'm george w bush and i well some way to make sure it couldn't air without the disclosure that you believe is so vital <coughs> uh you know ken i mean there's a there's a procedure that we're going to follow and Local stations ought to, if there's a deep concern about that, ought to tell their viewers what they're watching. Wake up. Using facial capture and facial reenactment software, students at colleges are able to, in real time, create facial expressions and even insert audio to make you believe that individuals like world leaders are doing and saying things that they aren't actually doing or saying. And this is how a Stanford website explains it. Quote, we present a novel approach for real-time facial reenactment of a monocular target video sequence, like a YouTube video. The source sequence is also a monocular video stream, captured live with a commodity webcam. Our goal is to animate the facial expressions of the target video by a source actor and re-render the manipulated output video in a photorealistic fashion, end quote. So in other words, the source, and in this case, a college student, projects the expressions of that student's face upon the target. In this case, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger here, or here with George Bush, or in this case, with Vladimir Putin. The student's expression is warped onto the target's face, making him look like his mouth is open, or that he's laughing, or making any number of facial expressions. The Stanford website continues to explain the process. Quote, at runtime, we track facial expressions of both source and target video using a dense photometric consistency measure. Reenactment is then achieved by fast and efficient deformation transfer between source and target. The mouth interior that best matches the retargeted expression is retrieved from the target sequence and work to produce an accurate fit. Wake up.
We are daily being exposed to a steady diet of agenda-driven news media where even the most aware individual could be easily deceived as the propaganda machines of mainstream media and government sources continue to churn out what they want the masses to see. Where young people have no education, they are more vulnerable to conspiracy theories and radical ideas because it's not tested against anything else. They've got nothing to weigh. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Here's a couple of examples of predictive programming. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see the dates that predictions were aired to the public. It's gonna knock down the towers. Bad news, Master Splinter. All we know is it had something to do with the Twin Towers. What's that? Look! It's the towers! They're falling! Ah! And there was debris raining down out of the sky like scenes, unfortunately, from the movie Armageddon. The victims were in airplanes where they responded with the best of America. Wake up. As you know, Spotlight is a film, a movie, about investigative journalists with the resources and the autonomy to chase down the truth and hold the powerful accountable. Best fantasy film since Star Wars. Wake up. And we can't allow that to happen. You need to be smart. You need to think.